demonstration how to perform repeated measures ANOVA uh, using JSP. Um, this is our data set but let's first go to our problem so this is our problem um, so a certain group of researchers examined the stereotypes we hold about attractive people um, a group of subjects looked at four types of photographs of persons unknown to them one of a physically attractive one of average attractiveness one of unattractive and one of highly, uh, a highly attractive person uh, the subjects then rated each photograph uh, per, uh, photograph uh, according to how socially desirable the person is based on their perception higher scores reflect um, greater social desirability so in this case our independent variable or predictor variable is attractiveness and there are four levels unattractive um, average attractive attractive and highly attractive and our dependent variable is social desirability so here in JSP um, this is how we enter our data so the, uh, the first row are the levels of your independent variable the levels of attractiveness and these scores are the scores for um, social desirability so we have one group of, of uh, we have one group, and all of the members of each of the of the group um, viewed different photographs of varying degrees of attractiveness, and these are their respective scores for social desirability. So first we have to um, appropriately designate uh, the following as continuous variables. Then let's go to ANOVA, click on repeated measures. Let's wait for a while. First, we have to label our independent variable. So our independent variable is attractiveness. And then let's just copy the labels. Um, um, attractive to if you're wondering why I am putting a number before each label um, this is so that they would appear in the sequence I want uh, when I produce the plots the software has the tendency to um, arrange the variables in the plots alphabetically uh, which might not be um, which might not look logical sometimes so um, I'm putting numbers before the levels so that they will be arranged based on how I want them to be arranged so basically I just copied these left uh, these labels and then as soon as you type those terms they would appear here so all we have to do now is to highlight these four and then transfer them here so they can transfer there and we can see that our hypothesis test is being computed in this side of uh, the screen you will notice that we have here the within subjects ANOVA which is our repeated measures and there is a between subjects effect now this one since we're not doing split plot um, or mixed design ANOVA um, we don't have we, we, we will ignore this for the meantime because we did not enter a between subjects factor 
So let's wait for a while. And there. So we can see here that um, the p value is less than 0 0.05, less than our alpha, uh, which indicates that the that this variance uh, in the means in the mean uh, attractiveness uh, uh, social desirability rather across the different levels of attractiveness the variance is far greater than what we expect by chance now let's first check some of our assumptions uh, let's go to options uh, and let's see if the assumptions of um, equal variance has been satisfied so let's click on sphericity test okay. so we can see that this is a significant result p value is less than 0 0.05 which means that there is a significant difference um, so it indirectly suggests that there is a significant difference um, in the variances within um, within the levels now if this is not significant then this result would be okay but since it's significant we have to make some corrections because we were not able to satisfy the equal variance assumption so let's click uh, click on um, sphericity corrections and when we do so uh, there are new results that are displayed so if we, so maybe you can uncheck the sphericity assumed and you can also uncheck the other one uh, we, we prefer the greenhouse geyser correction uh, and therefore this is our actual result our actual degrees of freedom our uh, f ratio and our result remains to be significant but this time with the proper corrections and then we can click on estimate uh, effect size and this will be our um, eta squared which is actually quite large okay. now next we also want to check on descriptives so that we can see the means so these are the mean social desirability scores based on the different levels of attractiveness and if we click on descriptive plots we can see a visual of that so just click on attractiveness transfer it on the horizontal axis and it will generate the descriptive plots descriptive plot I mean okay, there um, we can increase this table let's increase it some more a tad bit more so there so this is our descriptive plan now the next question would be to determine whether there are well, where's the significant difference is it between these means um, this means or these means so we'd like to know now um, so we're supposed to do a sort of a post hoc test however there are no options for post hoc testing um, in this um, uh, there's no uh, options for post hoc here so what we can do as an alternative is to go to t-test paired sample t-test and we can run a series of paired samples t-test among these different means so we want to compare attract the mean of attractive unattractive with average unattractive with attractive unattractive with high attractive, average attractive, with attractive, um, average attractive, with high attractive, 
and finally attractive with high attractive and this is our result so so between these two there is no significant difference uh, and the comparisons for the rest uh, are significant so between these two that's significant this one and this one there's a significant difference this one this one there's a significant difference there's this one this one there's a significant difference and this one and this one there's also a significant difference so the only mean comparisons that does, that is not significant uh, would be this one so that's how you do uh, post -talk for repeated measures ANOVA using JASP so that's it so you can simply copy um, these tables to your document they're already in APA format so um, <clears throat> that's it so next time um, stay tuned for my other videos uh, next uh, the next video I'll do is on independent measures ANOVA